Welcome to Jen and Ken's Science Friends. Today, we're gonna play with fire. Yeah. First off, you'll see that we have two full cups of water, because today we're actually playing with fire. Some things you'll need are a non-flammable surface, like a plate with tinfoil, a lighter or matches, a 100% cotton shirt or rag that you can cut up, and cotton thread. Then sew them up into little balls. Lighter fluid, water or something else that can put out a flame. Adult supervision is recommended. Have you done this before? No. I have not done this before either. We've seen some videos <laughs> and it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold fire in our hands. We might have to open the door Ooh, more. It says not to sniff it. You just shoved it up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> it says do not pour this lighter fluid on your hand. Yes. Because oh it God. will burn you and light you on fire. Instead, what you do is you soak you douse these balls in bladder fluid or kerosene if you prefer. Then you do with the lighter. We're gonna start with tongs because we've never put it in our hands before. Number one, safety is very important. Yeah. So we've got our safety glasses, we've got our emergency <laughs> water. That might not seem like a lot, but it's it's gonna be a very little flame. Yes. So, first of all, if you're a child, don't do this with a Yes, a adult supervision required. We're both adults. Wow! <laughs> Age-wise. <laughs> I'm nervous. Like, I'm actually nervous. I'm nervous too. But I'm very excited. So, again, safety first. Safety what we're first. gonna do is... We're also close to a sink. Yes, we're super close to a sink. Mm -hmm. Here's the plan. We're gonna douse them in lighter fluid. Mm -hmm. We're gonna light them, and then we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Whoa. This is what I feel okay, like. Okay, and then, yeah, a little bit of, we're gonna smush it, so you gotta make sure you're dealing with 100% cotton or wool, because it doesn't burn as easily as a synthetic, like, like polyester, polyester and, and nylon. rayon or nylon, okay? Mm -hmm. So make sure you've got all the right materials before yes. you even try this. Okay, so we have it doused. We've got the lighter. He's gonna do it. That flame is bigger than I anticipated. It's okay. Okay, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna put it in my hand first. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely, I think, needs, like, like brave... <laughs> brave oh, I'm super nervous, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, we've lit it, it, we've seen how big the fire is, I'm gonna try to hold it in my hand. Cause yeah, that's how we can feel. <gasps> oh my god! Yo, that totally isn't that hot. <gasps> no freaking way! Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Oh my just, god. Yeah, you just gotta keep it moving. But it's not that hot at all. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's really not that hot. Okay. I was just like worried because like I didn't want to drop it anywhere else but yeah. not on the thing. The temperature of the flame can be controlled based on the fuel you use. Fuel such as lighter fluid produces a flame cool enough to touch. When the cotton ball is saturated, the flames are burning off the fluid, not the fabric. That way, as long as the ball keeps moving, you won't be hurt. <laughs> See this? I think it's definitely better that we put more on it it's because not it's not even the same ball. It's not hot at all. Oh my god. <laughs> I do love fire. I love fire, man. But it scares me I got, so. I have like, I think it's adrenaline, but I have little tingles in my head. Oh, I know. Like really oh, exciting. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm just so afraid. <laughs> we see that it works. My hands are okay. The ball's not hot even a little bit. No. Nope. So, recommending more lighter fluid. Obviously, don't go crazy on it. Like I did. <laughs> and, and make sure you try to keep the lighter fluid isolated to the ball itself, because you, you see it's catching little bits here and there because we have leftover lighter fluid around mm -hmm. and it attaches and catches. Yeah. But, like, literally, doesn't it's, it doesn't hurt. It's like just warm, and then you switch hands, and it's okay. Like as long as you might have to drop it out my hand. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, my heart! I'm like. <laughs> but we're gonna try to get Jen to hold it. Oh my god. Everybody gotta cheer one time for Jen. Say yeah, Jen. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Left hand's your good hand. No, but <laughs> left hand, right hand. Who cares? Hand. It's coming down. Make sure you roll it. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. It's you know what it is like. It's like a, it, like, the description was said it was like a warm pizza. Like a pizza that's too hot and that's what it feels like. But my hand's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel 
feel like you can play with it for a while because like on the it's just gonna keep burning just, i think we just have to be mindful of when it stops actually because like you can see burn, it's gonna burn yeah it's yeah we have to be mindful of when it stops yes yeah, so you can actually see when the cotton's burning oh i already would have a little Ooh. Huh? Yeah, that got hot at the end. Well, make sure you can switch. It's not bad, though. It's not terrible. I want to just grab it. She could do it. Wow. Oh, we're getting so good now. <laughs> yeah, grab it. Don't do this if you're scared. Uh, because that's when scared. problems can happen. Like, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but like once I got it for the first time, I wasn't scared anymore. And it really, it, it just like... Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I would recommend doing this outside, though. For sure. If you're if you're prone to throwing things when you're scared, I would do it outside, <laughs> not near any trees. <laughs> I love fire. I'm gonna give this one... I'm gonna give it a 7, because I don't think everyone should do it. No. Uh, but it is super cool to see happen. I wish I had a little more control, and I could like play with it longer like other people can, but like... This is our first time. It's first time doing it, and also I just don't want to light my house on fire. You know, I got a little <laughs> bit of fear on that, but definitely I'd give it a seven. The materials, not that expensive. No. Uh, old t-shirt lying around. Just make sure you cut it up, wrap it up, sew it nicely shut. Make sure you're using all cotton, even the string, yeah. or else it'll melt it away and no more ball, right? Um, and then the lighter fluids, some of you may have some lying around, some of you yeah. may not, but this was only five bucks, I think. It, it was less than that. Like a couple bucks at Canadian yeah. Tire. Yeah. Yeah. Jen, what do you great. think? Uh, I was also planning on giving it a seven because of the fear factor mm -hmm. and also it's gonna be hard for everyone to do this because it does require it's so cool though. Yeah. Um it does require lots of focus, yeah. Lots of prep work. Definitely, yeah. You wanna make sure prep you, yourself. Yeah, make sure you're prepared mentally and all the materials are prepared. Like Here's our first one that kind of failed. Yeah. It fell apart. It is fun. Yeah, quick it and easy scary. one. <laughs> yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. Because you're always told, like, don't play with fire, don't play with fire. I'm just going <laughs> to play with it in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, Super Mario, like, just holding fire in my hand. <laughs> but yeah. Mario. She's Jen. He's Ken. Science friends till the end. Science and a tree. What a beautiful day it's turned out to be. <sighs> the adrenaline rush? That's all I need. I'm done. <laughs>